What is up gamers? Welcome back to VG Legends. I got a call back. I had a couple videos ago. I had a car full of video games from a yard sale. They are storage unit people. She actually called me back. I was hoping she would because she said she had more. Well, we're going to let it speak for itself, guys. We got multiple boxes of multiple systems and games. Controllers, even this big bad boy. Let's get into it. These guys, these are all... So controllers and stuff? Right. This is all Nintendo. Games. With some paperwork and one Super Nintendo. Okay. I got a whole load of Atari these stuff. guys. All Atari. Then we got Sega Genesis over here. Three decks. And a whole ton of controllers underneath. Okay. Okay. They're all neatly thick, wired up. <laughs> okay. Very organized. With all the paddles. She does got them. Look at all the paddles. Then we got the uh, power source. This is all Atari. Okay. I even got wireless Atari. You know how old that is? I've never even seen that before, to be I honest know. with you. But the, all the parts are there. And then I got a whole bunch of zappers with the gun. I mean, okay. with, the, with the paper. See all of them? Okay. This one I thought was really cool. Yeah, that's a that's a 5200 controller. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, we should put it over here in the 5200 pile. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, Piles. 5200, I got an empty box. Okay. Some people like them. I definitely like empty boxes. This is a little Atari, I don't know. Oh, that's a Junior. Is it cute? Yeah, they call it a 2600 Junior. How cute. Yeah, that's pretty. I do actually have one of these, I think. Cool. This is for Nintendo. Oh, okay, yeah. I bought it for another forty-eight, like twenty years ago. Yeah. I don't know what this is. Some kind of U-Force thing. I've never seen that before. And uh, and then we have all the Nintendo over here. There's thirteen controllers in this box. That is. Okay. And all the plugs I could find and things. And there's seven of them. Okay. Three of them. And then we have the Intellivision over here. Oh my gosh. Which is pretty cool because it's got the papers in yeah, it. Yeah, I I love these. I actually have one boxed. Oh yeah? Yeah. I've never played that one, but I've played the other ones. So These ones are these ones are fun. Yeah. Cool. Cool. You don't have anything in mind? Nope. Whatever you think they're worth. I got a storage unit to empty. And another one on Monday. This this is definitely cool because I don't have a Super Nintendo box. Very nice. This is cool. Oh, this is part of it. Oh yeah, styrofoam for it. Guess I'm glad I cleared out all that stuff, huh? Ugh, pain in the ass, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. And uh, that controller is pretty cool too from Radio Shack. Yeah, sure. yeah, that's the actual uh, 2600. Is it 2600? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's a. It took me two days to sort all this crap out. <laughs> what, is that Xbox box two going or is that staying? Oh, I don't want it. Hmm. I'll definitely add that in there. Go ahead. I don't have one of those either. Sweet. Like you said, people like boxes. I know, I used to sell them online. Oh, man, I, I was know. a big a game guru. Yeah. So. Well, you, I've showed you my basement. Yes, I did. <laughs> it's gotten bigger. Time yeah, I, because, you got enough. It's, I have two kids and a full-time job. It's really hard. It I worked for three, 20 yeah. years. I, 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 used to, I don't know. Uh, Throw me a number. I got 281 on me. 200. 
Two hundred for all of it? You sure? Yeah. You're a nice guy. I'm still working on your cake crap. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> I'll That's what we were, me and Mike discussed. Welcome back, gamers. Now, look at that footage. I want to thank my wife. My wife went with me for this because they kind of have a connection, too. As I said in the very beginning, this is a storage unit stuff from this lady that contacted me a couple videos ago. She loves me. You've seen it in the footage. I offered her more. She took less. It, it is what it is. It's all going in the collection except for stuff that's extra. I'm going to sell it. Let's go over it really quick. I'll do the best I can to make this fast. We're gonna start with my favorite piece, guys, the Super Nintendo box. It is the Walmart exclusive that came with the Super Game Boy, the Super Game Boy 72 page guide. I love this thing. I'm gonna try to complete this. I'll buy the pieces to complete this. The coolest part, guys, it actually did came with the Super Game Boy box, the not for resale box that actually came with this set and I won't lie I've already bought the 72 page guidebook for this and I already have a Super Game Boy so this is going to be complete in my collection sooner or later I'll buy a cover for it and everything super happy to find this then like the Xbox original Xbox box cool I don't have one in here yet so this is awesome to add and it's actually a Forza Motorsport edition one so that's awesome to add to the collection as well no games, no systems, but that's awesome. The rest of the stuff is going to be pretty simple except for the games. We're going to go with this box real quick first. We have seven NES system guys. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, they're dirty. I'll clean them up. I'll see if they work. Test them all out. These obviously I'll sell because I do have the power set here complete. I do have the action set here complete. So I have plenty of NESs to play with. Easy money back here. Next we'll go over basically, guys, I'm not going to go over all of these, but we got the AV cables. We got the, the old style cables. We got the controllers. We got the power adapters. We got everything in here. There's probably 8 to 10 NES controllers, maybe a little bit more awesome stuff there to add. We got zappers. All kinds of zappers. We got one instruction booklet for the zapper, so it would be cool to find a box. But they all seem to work just great, guys. This was really cool. We'll go over this really quick. I've never seen one of these before. I had to look it up. It's a U-Force pad for the NES. Pretty rare. Never played one before, never had one before. Kind of cool, hopefully I can plug that in and get it checked out and see if it works. That's gonna stay in the collection. We got three Atari 2600s. We got one, six, and two fours. And then this stuff, guys, I got so many of these paddles and controllers for the Atari. We even got the little number pad, like this one. We have so many of these, it rattles, look at it, it's ripped off. We're just gonna... Smash that sucker and get rid of that one. That's, might as well. I got so many of these I can't even get rid of them so awesome though these ones are all in good shape though that one was beat up and rattling so didn't have time to fix that back to this box we will go into this we got the switch boxes we got the power adapters for the Ataris we got a fat Atari a power adapter now if you don't know what this is we're gonna go over it in just a second this will help you realize what that is. We got 5200 controllers. Really dusty and dirty, but I'll clean them up. They all seem to be in really good shape and work, so that's cool. And then guys, we got a 5200 roller controller. These things are awesome, hard to find, very rare. I, I see them listed for 70, 80 bucks loose with no box. 
that's a really awesome piece to add to my collection there. And then the bottom of the box, we have the system. 5200. It's probably the worst model. This opens up, you can put your controllers in there. Obviously, here goes your games. But the worst model is the actual the four controller model. Because you got to, this is your power and your video. So you gotta have the special TV adapter, which unfortunately did not come in this lot. So I'm gonna have to buy that just to try to power this on and test it out. But awesome to add 5200 to the collection, guys. Awesome piece. And then this little box, guys. More joysticks controllers. Some pretty cool looking ones here. I don't know much about these. I'll have to look them up. This one's actually got like a rubber grip to it. And it's a Gravius, Gravis. I, I don't know too much about them, like I said, so I'll look them up, but awesome to add these to the collection. Because I know I don't have some of these. It's a cool looking turbo touch. And actually, we got a Max, NES Max. These controllers are really cool for the NES, so. Nice little box there. Come to this box. Well, wouldn't you know it? We got more Atari controllers. <laughs> there is quite a bit. Oh, we got Star Ra the Star Raiders touchpad, so that's cool. That's, that's for the Star Raiders game. We got more touchpads. We got, these are really cool. Check this out, guys. Where's the other one? We got wireless Atari controllers. And here is the actual plug-in part. So that is complete. Pretty cool to add that to the collection. I know these go for like 40, 50 bucks on eBay, maybe something like that. So not bad. We're not gonna go over all those. You already know what they, those look like. This box, guys, we got three Genesis systems. We got two model one or uh, two of the model twos and one model one, the high definition graphic one. So that's cool to add. You you, you can tell with right up here it says high definition. The other ones don't say that. Very nice Sega system lot there. And in the same box, we got the controllers, the power adapters, and the AV cables, or the TV out cables, whatever you want to call them. But nice little box there. Okay, now before we get into the games, this was my second favorite part of this lot. We have the Nintendo case. Now you can fit an NES, a Super NES, or an N64 in these. As you can see here, the slots, this is where the games go. I will even show you guys, like, here's here's Tigger's Hunt, Honey Hunt, Honey Hunt, T Tigger's Honey Hunt, or, yeah, they slide right in there, so that's really cool, and the bottom drawer of this also opens for your, for your controllers, your power adapter, whatever you want to put in there, these are pretty hard to find now, and they're pretty expensive too, so if you want to look those up on eBay, you can, but very cool piece to add to the collection there. Okay guys, we'll go over the Atari games first. Full box here. As you can see, there is two rows. I'm not gonna go over all of these because there is a lot of doubles and let's be honest, it would take forever to go through all these. We got stuff like Pac-Man, we got stuff like Star Raiders, Joust, some really good games in here, Superman, there's sports games, you know how it goes, but there were some good ones as well. There was like Pitfall, stuff like that. Really good box of uh, Atari games. This little box here, guys. Some handheld stuff. I like this stuff. It's awesome. We got Head to Head Talking Baseball. Really dirty. Just got to clean it up. Hopefully that works. We got this. Another one I don't. I don't have this one. I think I might have the Talking Baseball. But this one's the Electronic Baseball. Really cool, it says 1979. Awesome little piece. I think the controller pulls out, something like that. See that, the controller pulls right out and you can play like that, so really nice. Piece to add to the collection, like that. We have an Atari 2600 Junior. Another awesome little system to have. I think I do have one of these, but mine doesn't work, so hopefully this one does. Another little handheld, we got a talking football. I think this one is from 1986. So hopefully that works. 
We got another little joystick controller, another power adapter. We got four 5200 games. We got Dig Dug, Space Invaders, Centipede, and Pac Man. I wish there was a little bit more of these because I don't have any. So these are my first four for the collection. Awesome ones to add though. I mean, like Centipede, Pac Man, can't beat those. Awesome games. Okay. Two boxes left, guys. We got mostly games and stuff. We'll start with another joystick. But this one's cool because it's in the box. It is the Avenger 700 from Radio Shack. I am definitely keeping this one. I'm not going to sell it. Looks awesome. It'll look cool on the shelves. This is awesome. We have a box for a super pad for the Super Nintendo. It is empty. There's, well, there's something in it. Okay, so there's some inserts in there, but there's no manual or controller. But that's an awesome box. It's actually in pretty good shape. It's not too crunched. So, awesome add there. We have Joust for the 7800. Xevious for the 7800. We got Major League Hockey for the Atari 400. So there are some games here for systems I don't have yet. We have River Raid. I believe that is actually a 5200 game, so that's a that's a fifth one there. We got an Odyssey 2 game, UFO. I don't have an Odyssey yet. We have football for the Texas Instrument Solid State cartridge. And actually I got this from her in that last video, guys. It does not work but it's cool to have a game for it. And then this box here is an Intellivision 2 with games. It looks to be in really good shape, just dirty. These need to be cleaned. And I'll show you there, it's an Intellivision 2. 1982. It's got the power and stuff. We got tons of games here. I'm not gonna go over them all, but I know the best one here is Worm Whopper. Now, I haven't looked it up but off the top of my head. I think this is like a $35, $40 game for, a, for the Intellivision. That's pretty high. So I'm really happy with that. There's other ones like boxing, bowling, Utopia, stuff like that. So that's a cool little box there. We actually even have some manuals with those. You got Space Battle, Soccer, Blackjack Poker, just stuff like that. There's Lock and Chase. There's some writing on that one, but it looks cool. Alright guys, in the last box, I'm going to call this the Goodie Box. This is my favorite box because it's the games. I love collecting games more than systems because I have a lot of systems already. But, real quick, do a little scan. We have two pitfalls, which are decent Atari games for resale, so some money back there. We got Donkey Kong. I thought this one was really cool. I love the artwork on this one. It's called Fast Food. We got Frontline for the 2600. We got Adventure for the 2600. That's it for the, the 2600 games in here. We'll, we'll go on to Sega. We got Sonic Classics, which includes three great Sonic games. I think it's one, two, and three. Sonic 2. Sonic Pinball. Jurassic Park. Sticker on there, but it happens. Doesn't say a store or anything like that. We got Super Hang On. Street Fighter shirt for the Super Street Fighter 2 game. I grew up playing Street Fighter. It's not, my, I won't lie, it's not my favorite fighting game. Tekken is my favorite fighting game, franchise, whatever you want to call it. But Street Fighter is what I grew on. I love Street Fighter. That was it for the loose ones. We're going for the box ones. We got Batman Forever. It is complete. 
We got Team USA Basketball, the limited edition. I think that's the more common one. I think the one that's not the limited edition is worth more. But I don't have this one in the collection, so it's, that's cool to add. We got another one of my favorites because I used to play it all the time. We got Aladdin, which is really funny. I don't have this one in the collection, so it's awesome to add. This one is just box and cartridge. Just, there's no top to it. It's a, the cardboard box, but it's Mike Dipka's Power Football. We got NHL 96. We got two copies of Mad 92. Now you know that's a good game when you got two of them. We got the Not For Resale Sonic the Hedgehog. It, this Again, this is the more common one because it came with like every system out the one that's not so common is the one that you actually had to buy in store it says not for, it doesn't say not for resale on there we'll just not say that on there at all but that's okay find it all the time in the last second game nhl 95 now one super nintendo game we have capcom's mvp football i don't have this one so that's cool at least the one that she did have i don't have so that's cool to add the rest we'll go on to is NES games. We'll start with manuals, just because there's games in here I wish that were for the manuals. But actually, this is the actual, I didn't even know this was in here. Sorry guys, but Nintendo and Entertainment Center, the warranty registration. A lot of people probably look for that to complete their system, so that's actually a really good piece. I'll have to make sure mine has that. And we got Hang On. Uh, no, NBA Hang Time for the Super Nintendo manual. We got Tetris for the Game Boy. We got Duck Hunt Mario Bros. And actually, I, I lied. That's for the NES. So that was my fault. We got Teenage, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Go! Blades of Steel. I think this is a poster. Let's open it up, check it out. <laughs> Nothing too crazy, but it's California Games. It's in really, really good shape. Doesn't even look like it's ever been opened. That might be the first one I ever did. Then we got Top Gear for the Super Nintendo. Frogger. This is for the Game Boy. Now, I wish this. I do have this game already, but it would have been cool to have the game or the box for this. Is Super Mario Land. We got Tennis Instruction Activ Activision. I'm guessing that's probably for the Atari or something like that. Here's another one, Stampede. That must be an Atari one. We got Video Pinball. I know that one's Atari. And then we have the Super Nintendo manual. Pretty sure that's for the box. So. Then this. These are really cool. I don't know too much information about these guys. But I know that it is for the Atari. It's Sword Quest. It is rough. It is beat up. It's missing. It's scratched. It's ripped. It's everything. But I think these only came out with the game. And they came with like special comic books. And that's what this is. I really wish it was in better shape, but what are you gonna do? And it looks cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely check it out. Now, on to the NES games. We got Total Recall. We have TNC Surf Designs. Complete in box. I should have mentioned that this is just box, there's no manual or no game. Odds of the games really quick. We got Super Jeopardy. We got Ninja Gaiden. We have four copies of Mario Bro Duck Hunt. Two, three, four. Very common game, find it all the time. Tech Mobile, Skate or Die, that actually has a name and an address and a number on it, so we will not flip this one over. Good one here, Super Mario Bros. 3. 
And probably the best one out of this lot I don't have yet. Pretty excited to add it is Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Fantastic game. Now, there is a variant of this with five screws. It's very expensive, very hard to find. Unfortunately, it's just where you screw one. But, awesome to add. It's like a $35, $40 game. Might be going up. I don't know, but I just know it's a good one. Last little stack here, guys, is Dig Dug. Back to the Future, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. Bubble Bobble. Fantastic game. There's a second one everybody knows is very expensive. Top Gun. Hoops. Knight Rider. WrestleMania with the Hulkster. We got CTW Sesame Street ABC Let Her Go Around. There's a lot in that title. <laughs> fun game. I can't wait to play that one. This one I'm not going to pronounce. I don't know how to pronounce it. We'll just let you look at it because I have no idea. I'll show you the top there. We got Spot. We got Destination Earth Star. We got, what's this one? Section Z from Capcom. Dino Wars. And the last game, nothing too special. Second copy of Hoops. But guys, like I said, you've seen in the footage, she loves me. She's going to contact me when she finds more. Storage unit lady. And awesome haul. Like, I can't thank her enough again because... She just wants to basically give me this stuff and I appreciate it so but anyways guys this is an awesome big haul again I I think I thanked her I don't know hundreds of times probably but she just likes me and that's what you got to do sometimes get your name out there and you know show your collection to them and let them give you some good stuff for cheap prices and that's just what happens sometimes but please subscribe please smash that like button Hit the notification bell up here. Get ready for more content, guys. I mean, I, I'll do this till, the, till I die. I'm a gamer for life. See you later, guys.